Hey everybody, it's Peanut from XH2O. I'm just making a little tutorial here to show you how to put some foot straps on your stand-up jet ski. I like to use these Hillman set nuts. They're a uh, quarter inch 20 thread on the inside and then they're threaded on the outside so you can screw them in with the Allen wrench and then of course you can use your bolts to to mount your foot straps to them or to your tray. First thing you're going to do is make sure you get your foot straps where you want them. Mark them out good where the holes are, the mounting holes. And then you're going to come back and and drill your holes later, but uh, of course it's right of preference. You want to make sure that you get them where you want them the first time. Uh, so once you put these set nuts in, you're basically just going to keep having to drill holes and remounting more set nuts if you don't uh, put put it in the correct location. Here's one type of foot strap. It's a little decaying strap. Uh, it's a smaller one. Uh, we usually put these somewhere up front. Uh, we run some bigger ones in the back. Uh, foot straps are all come in all different shapes and sizes. We usually use like a kite board foot strap because they're padded real good and they're they're readily available and cheap. Uh, you can go as far as paying eighty something dollars a piece for ratcheting straps or you can get uh, pay twenty dollars and there's some velcro uh, really nice padded velcro straps on Amazon just search kite boarding foot strap. Okay here we drill out all the holes uh, that we marked and then uh, we'll come back and clean that up and then put down some of this two-part epoxy. I, I like using this it's locked tight it's two-part epoxy uh, it's marine gray it's the marine grade Loctite two-part epoxy it's rated at 3200 pounds per square inch so it's gonna hold that set nut in there and not let it come come unthreaded once you s get it threaded in there now your drill bit you're gonna want to make sure that you're using the correct size drill bit it's got to be in between the the two sizes on the thread nut because the thread nut is cone shaped so the the top of it is wider than the bottom of it so you want to be in between that so you get it threaded most of the way in but not where you can thread it all the way through and uh, lose it because then you just end up buying some more uh, get your epoxy drizzled in there and then I like to it'll show it here in a minute I like to put a little on the nut itself and then screw them in you can uh, after you get uh, your set nuts in and all that you'll clean up your tray HydroTurf says that you can use acetone to clean it up uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't decolor it uh, like I say it comes when you buy the HydroTurf it comes with a little thing saying you can use acetone to clean off the glues so I'm assuming that you can use acetone to clean off this epoxy resin as well. Um, if you take the proper precau precaution and mask everything off, you shouldn't have too much spillover. You shouldn't, you know, just cake this stuff all over your tray. You want to keep keep your jet ski looking pretty. Okay, I just kind of force this two-part epoxy down in the hole. Like I said, there's really no right way you just want to make sure that you get enough of it into the hole where you're, you're coating that set nut and uh, so it's getting glued adhered to the tray itself the fiberglass of the tray so that way it's basically it's there it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to come unthreaded or get pushed too far down in there to where it doesn't work when you actually thread your foot strap hardware into it You can use other stuff to adhere these set nuts to your tray. 
we've used epoxy resin, super glue. I've used a, a silicone based uh, waterproof sealant adhesive. It, it basically, as long as it holds the set nut where it doesn't get screwed in past the tray or get pulled back out of the tray when you uh, unthread the bolt that you're going to put in there. You know, check check your depth and make sure they're kind of the same. These Hillman set nuts aren't, you know, super great quality. They they hold up. I'm 200 and uh, right about 215, 225. At one point I was up over 235, and I jerking and flopping and uh, barrel rolling and st uh, stuff like that. You don't have to worry about jerking these set nuts out. They're they're pretty good quality, and uh, you know even if you, it gets pulled out, it's not too hard. To, to slap another one in and it's really cheap like you can see here there's not much epoxy left over in the tray if you use the tape and then uh, you can clean it up a little bit with a rag or acetone or whatever but majorly the straps gonna cover it up this is just if uh, you, you may want to remove the strap at one point or something like that Here's one of the examples of this strap we used in the front. It's a decaying strap. Uh, it's one of the more ex uh, expensive straps for as small as it is and not having much cushion. The holes on it uh, usually aren't the size of this quarter inch uh, bolts. So what I do is uh, just hook up the power drill and run it run it, that bolt through the hole and then uh, let it spin and heat up and it'll melt the some of the the vinyl and plastic of the strap that way the next time when I get ready to go install it it'll just thread right in there or it'll just fall right into the hole I don't have to to mess with it You want to make sure that, uh, that I'm showing you here that you know it wouldn't go in the middle hole easy, but after I've stretched out the outer holes, it just falls right, goes right in there, it threads right in. You, with your fingers, you can thread it in. As you can see here on this one, I've used some of the little rounded washers and cone-shaped head uh, bolts, so that way if your foot happens to slide across there, it's not going to get all cut up. And Now I suggest that when you install your foot straps, uh, if, if you're not familiar with the drill, it, with using the drill itself, to just do it by hand. Because the way the nature of these set nuts is, is if you put too much torque on them, put too much torque on them you could uh, the bolt can grab hold of the set nut and push it through uh, it'll just keep threading the set nut into the the fiberglass until it pops out the other side also going to want to make sure that you're using the correct uh, driver for the the head of it itself Make sure that you're using the fat Phillips if it's what it requires. So that you're not stripping out your your screwdriver there. These here are uh, MGI foot straps. They're a ratcheting foot strap. They've got some massive pads on them. These are really nice. Okay, and then your best bet is just to do it by hand. Get your screwdriver and screw it in slowly uh, on each side you're going to want to do uh, run both bolts in at the same time keep them keep the pressure on them the same so that way you're not pulling one of the the bolts to one side or the other it makes it a lot easier on you 
and then here's a picture of it completed uh, and then you don't have to set your your foot straps up like this this is just rider preference this is where my friend uh, marked out his foot straps where he wanted them mounted and then I just put them where he lo where he wants them and if you get them where you don't want uh, where you're if you're riding nose high and you need to move your your feet forward to get the nose down just uh, you know buy you some more set nuts and some more epoxy and start the process over and move your foot straps to a different location I had less than forty dollars in my set of foot straps uh, that's mounting hardware the foot strap itself uh, the glues epoxies all that materials I needed to install it and all that around about forty bucks and it worked great so it did what I needed it to. I hope this is helpful.